Hey guys, JJ here, and today we have some official Resident Evil 7 news directly from Capcom with some confirmed dates, so let's get right into it. Last night, I made a video on the Resident Evil 7 breaking news, and now some details have been clarified and confirmed by Capcom. The news in this video is pulled directly from an email Capcom sent out to the press. Capcom has confirmed that Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition will be coming to retail and digital on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, alongside the remaining DLC for the game, all set to release on December 12th, 2017. Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition will include all the contents from the release earlier this year along with all three pieces of downloadable add-on content in one package. Band footage volumes 1 and 2 will be included as well as the upcoming third DLC titled End of Zoe. Capcom is also able to confirm today that the delayed Not A Hero DLC content will be available to download for free for owners of any version of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on December 12th. In the new add-on titled End of Zoe, players will discover what Zoe Baker's fate will be. Players will face off against new enemies and explore new swamp-filled areas. End of Zoe will also be included in the Gold Edition or available as an update if you are a Season Pass owner. Owners of the original release will also be available to purchase the content as a separate download retailed at $14.99 US, $14.99 or 1199 British pounds. The free Not A Hero DLC sees the return of Resident Evil's BSAA soldier Chris Redfield. Taking place after the events of Resident Evil 7, Not A Hero brings a brand new experience playing as Chris to face off new threats not met in the game. As a member of New Umbrella, Chris and his team quickly set up a strategy to counter this new threat. Will Chris once again solve the mystery of this latest outbreak and make it out of the plantation's dungeons alive? I guess we'll find out. Nearly all content for PlayStation 4, including End of Zoe and Not A Hero, can be enjoyed on PlayStation VR for a more thrilling and immersive horror experience. It's nice to have some concrete info on when we'll be able to see this content. I know I'm looking forward to why Chris is working for New Umbrella and whatever happened to Zoe Baker, but I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited for the upcoming DLC? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this news, please drop a like, and if you want more Resident Evil news, live streams, giveaways, or the Roll podcast, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The Residents of Evil is now a Patreon-supported channel, so if you want to support us and get some cool perks like a download of the Residents of Evil theme song by Mono Memory or giveaways, check it out at patreon.com slash row network. I'll leave a link down in the description. You can follow the Residents of Evil on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or Instagram at row network. That's ROE network. I'll leave the links down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back at the Residents of Evil.